Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at uploading custom Snort3 intrusion rules in the Cisco Secure Firewall version 7. It's going to be a quick video on how to upload those rules which you've created, those custom Snort rules. So I'm on the FMC here and I'm going to go to Objects Intrusion Rules. This is where you'll be uploading your custom Snort3 rules. We have two tabs now for Snort2 and Snort3, so I'm going to go to the Snort3 tab. Now to upload custom rules, you're going to start off here with the all rules selected on the left and that's where you kind of want to be. And once you, once you have that selected, you'll see this drop down over here on the right that says tasks. So when I click tasks, so there are a few tasks here in different headings. I have a Snort 2 section and a Snort 3 section. Under the Snort 3 section at the top here, we have upload, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to upload our custom Snort 3 rules here. Pretty straightforward. You can drag a file into this box here, or you can just click on the box, and that will bring up the file browser. So I'm going to go to my downloads here. I have a file here called custom rules. It can be a, you can look for .txt or .rules files. So when I open that, it's going to go ahead and check for syntax and then give me some options. So at this point, I know I have decent rules. Now with Snort3, one of the new features is you get to put your custom rules into custom groups. In Snort2, all of your custom rules went into a local rules category, so they were all lumped together. But now with Snort3, you can have multiple custom rule groups. So when you first upload a rule set, which I'm doing right now, there are no custom, there are no groups yet. So you have to create a new one. So I have to create a new group here to proceed. So I'm gonna do that. Now that group is going to default to the name of the file. So you might wanna think about this before you start uploading a bunch of rules. Think about how many rule groups you need, what you want to call them, because you're probably gonna, not gonna want a rule group for every file that you upload. So just think about that. I'm gonna leave this for this right now, that default name, but Again, you're, you may want one or two or three, just a few custom rule groups, but whatever you want, think about that ahead of time and don't just name all your rule groups by the files. You'll have a bunch of rule groups scattered around that may not be as uh, supportable as you would like. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, created the new group. Now it's gonna ask you what group. Well, I the one I just created, so let's put them in that group. Now when you upload custom rules, you have a couple options. At this point, since it's a new group, it doesn't matter, but I uh, pick either one, merge or replace. But your options below are, well, merge or replace. So merge is going to work similarly to what you were expecting or what you experienced before if you're using Snort2, and that is it will take the existing rules and merge those by looking at the revision numbers. So if there are SID matches on the rules, it's going to look at the revision numbers, and it's only going to replace rules with newer revision numbers. Okay, so that's how it works in Snort2. That's the same way it works in Snort3. So you can Keep maintain a rules file and just update that rules file, changing the revision number on your revised rules. And then when you when you merge, it will ignore rules with lower or the same revision numbers, but it will replace rules with higher revision numbers. Now the next button down here, replace all rules, will just it will do just that. It will replace all the rules. So let's say that you have you know, 50 rules in this custom rule group. Well, if your rule file has five rules your new rule group will have five rules. So it's going to replace everything in that existing group with this new group. So if that's what you want to do, if that's the way you want to maintain your rules files, that's that's fine, but that's what that will do. Just be aware. So I'm going to go ahead and stay with merge. Click next. Give me a summary of what's going to happen. The new rules. I can expand that and see what SIDs are going to be uh, placed in there. You notice the GIDs here, the generator IDs are 2000 in Snort3. So that's, again, a change from Snort2 where the generator ID would still be one for your text-based rules, but here to make sure there's no collisions between Snort2 rules, we change the generator ID here. So I'm going to click finish. It's going to go ahead and finish that upload process. So now I have a local rule group. So if you look on the left here, I have a local rule group. If I expand that, there's my custom rules. If I select those, there they are. At this point, now that your rules have been added, you can go to the policy, add the rule group, and enable those rules, set them to your desired state, whether that's alert or block. As always, thanks for watching and happy snorting!